random Digimon that now leaves the computer and is fighting a random wild Pokemon. So from a Doyle's perspective, the first thing we need to do is analyze the narrative function of both these characters. Now you said random in both cases, random wild Pokemon and random Digimon. So we don't know anything about the Digimon's personality or even their type, and we don't know anything about the Pokemon's history or even their type. It's just a Digimon versus a Pokemon, and I think a Doyle's would say they'd tie. When two characters fight and you know absolutely nothing about them, usually that's a piece of setting set dressing. And usually you're shown the fight without any conclusion. Sometimes one side or the other could win the fight, but that's usually setting up something in the plot. And at that point, we'd need more info than random. You could make an argument that it is slightly favored on the Digimon side, because Digimon in general are characterized in their series to have more agency than Pokemon do, and the Digimon winning could be a way to showcase that agency. But once again, with very little info, there's actually not a whole lot that you could say other than they either tie or whoever you want to win wins. It's kind of like if you asked me if two boxers went up against each other in a fight, who would win? And I asked you, well, which boxers? And then you're like, I don't know, two boxers. At that point, I'd be like, I don't know, one of them. But as soon as they cease being random, things change. In fact, this is my favorite way to explain the difference between Doyleist and Watsonian perspectives. Let's say that Boxer A has an amazing record, basically has rarely lost a fight in his life. However, he went up against Boxer B three times, and every single time he's lost. Boxer B has a pretty horrible record, actually usually loses more times than he wins. Boxer B has a pretty horrible record, usually he loses more times than he wins. And he's been on a losing streak, and he's going to go up in a fourth match against Boxer A. Which Boxer wins? The Watsonians usually say Boxer A, the Doyleists usually say Boxer B. Because all the evidence shows that Boxer A is the better Boxer. But all the history shows that Boxer B has never lost to Boxer A. So yeah, if you give me a random Pokemon and a random Digimon, it feels a lot like two boxers with no stats. But if you start giving me details, things change. Even if you said something like a random Charizard, that would change things. Because the Charizard is a face of the franchise and would likely lose less. Or if you said something like a random Devimon. Devimon has been used both as a villain and as a redemption archetype in Digimon, which, once again, makes him less likely to lose a fight. And the more specific you get, the more clear the whole situation is. Like if you brought Ty's Agamon into it, or Ash's Pikachu. In fact, Ash's Pikachu is a Doyleist dream and nightmare because it beat a higher level Onyx with a Thundershock. And I still can't wrap my head around that from a Watsonian perspective. So yeah, if a random Digimon fought a random Pokemon from a Doyleist perspective, it would be an awesome background fight in a Digimon-Pokemon crossover that has no conclusion.